Hi viewers, welcome to Spirit Revived. My name is Brother Joel and here, we narrate near-death experiences, rapture dreams and visions and testimonies from around the world. I'm now going to read out the vision our dear sister sent, exactly as she wrote it, with no parts omitted or added. God bless you. Good day, sir. I am moved to send you this email concerning a vision I had about what is set to happen in the year 2025. There is more that people are unaware of regarding the year ahead, which is why many Christians are lukewarm in their pursuit of God. My name is M. Thompson, and I have always had a deep passion for teaching American history. I believe history is more than just memorizing dates and facts. It's about understanding the struggles, triumphs, and values that continue to influence our lives today. I am also a lover of God and seek to do His will in everything I do. My faith guides me daily, both in my personal life and in my role as an educator. Teaching is more than a job, it's a calling, a way to serve both God and my students. By God's mercy, I have been blessed with divine visitations and visions, reminding me of His presence and purpose. I never take these moments for granted knowing they are a source of strength and guidance. On April 5, 2024, while teaching at school, I discussed with my students the bravery of those who fought for freedom, their ideals, and how those values resonate today. After class, despite feeling exhausted, I felt a strong urge to visit the library. While there, as I read a book on colonial America, I suddenly felt everything shift, I found myself at the entrance of the library again, but everything felt different, almost as if I was seeing it through new eyes. I was drawn to a gigantic book titled Asterisk, The World's Future Untold Asterisk. When I opened it, I saw the words, January 2025. The book detailed events that were yet to come, but when I reached June, the pages were blank. July, August, and the rest of the year were the same completely blank. Fear gripped me. What could this mean? I approached the library attendant, whose presence felt different, calming. He told me that every book in the library held the future of a nation or state, and the book I held revealed the truth about 2025. He explained that the last seven months of 2025 will be filled with events too dark to be recorded in detail, including economic collapse, famine, and persecution of Christians. He spoke of intense tribulation, with food shortages affecting even the most prosperous nations, and believers being tested like never before. When I asked if there was hope, he reminded me that with God, nothing is impossible. Suddenly, I found myself back in my body, drenched in sweat, overwhelmed by the weight of what I had just experienced. This vision is not just a personal revelation but a warning to all of us. There is a great tribulation coming in 2025, and we must take this message seriously. Our prayers are powerful tools in this fight. Unbelievers must repent, and Christians must strengthen their faith. With God's intervention, nothing is impossible. Let us rise to this challenge in unity and faith, trusting in the power of prayer. Thank you for listening. Let's continue to pray for God's mercy and guidance as we approach 2025. God bless you all. Dear Sister M. Thompson, we deeply appreciate your courage in sharing the vision that God has revealed to you. The message you have sent is powerful and truly sobering. As the body of Christ, we are called to discern the times and seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in all matters, especially when such serious revelations are given. At Spirit Revived, we take every vision and message with deep reverence, understanding that God's ways are beyond our comprehension, but always meant for our good. We will not take lightly the warnings that have been shared regarding the events of 2025. The call to prepare spiritually, through prayer and repentance, is a call we must all heed as we see the signs of the times unfolding. We will share this vision with our community urging them to seek God in prayer and fasting, asking for His mercy and grace during the challenging times that lie ahead. Indeed, nothing is impossible with God, and we believe that through prayer and unity, 
we can stand firm in the face of the trials to come. As we move forward in faith, we will continue to pray for you that God will give you strength, clarity, and peace as you carry the weight of this revelation. We encourage you to remain steadfast, trusting that the Lord is with you in all things. Your obedience in delivering this message will undoubtedly bring hope and direction to many. Let us all be vigilant, praying without ceasing and preparing our hearts for what is to come. Thank you once again for your boldness and your faithfulness to God's call. May the Lord continue to guide and protect you, and may his peace fill your heart in Christ's love and service. Dear viewers, I wanted to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you who watch and engage with ours videos. Your support and encouragement mean the world to us. We started Spirit Revived with the intention of creating a platform where believers could come together, share their experiences, and find solace in their faith. Your enthusiasm and engagement have exceeded our expectations and it fills us with joy to see the impact these dreams and visions have had on your lives. To those who resonated with the dream, I want to remind you that even in the face of terrifying circumstances, there is always hope. God's love and mercy are ever present, ready to guide us through even the darkest of nightmares. Let us cling to our faith, support one another, and be a source of encouragement in these challenging times. Furthermore, I want to extend an invitation to all believers who have had their own dreams, visions, near-death experiences, or powerful testimonies. Spirit Revived is not just about sharing our own experiences, but also creating a platform for you to share yours. Your stories can uplift and inspire others, strengthening their faith and reminding them of God's miraculous presence in our lives. If you have a dream, vision, near-death experience, or testimony that you feel compelled to share, we would be honored to hear from you. Please forward your stories to our email address, officialspiritrevive at gmail.com. Your contribution could be a beacon of hope for someone in need, reminding them that they are not alone on their spiritual journey. Once again, thank you for your unwavering support and for being an integral part of Spirit Revived. Together, let us continue to seek God's truth share our experiences, and build a community rooted in faith and love. May God bless each and every one of you with heartfelt gratitude. Joel, Spirit Revived